I first grab some tissue paper from Dollar Tree. And then you wanna have some eight by 10 copy paper. You wanna place the tissue paper down and all you wanna do is just cut the tissue paper just a little bit smaller than that copy paper. I then am just using my mini iron just to iron out some of the wrinkles that are on that tissue paper. Then go ahead and place the tissue paper on top of the copy paper and just tape that right down. Place it inside of your printer. Use any image of your choice. I got this one off of Etsy and then just print that out. You then just want to cut that image right out. I then had this cutting board sign that I picked up from Dollar Tree. I'm just going to paint it in Waverly chalk paint in the color plaster. This did end up taking three coats. You wanna just dry everything before moving on. Once that is dry, I'm using some brown acrylic paint and just doing a dry brush method all around this sign just to make it look a little bit more weathered and let that dry as well. Next, you wanna just apply some Mod Podge in the center of that cutting board. You wanna make sure that you have a thin but even amount of Mod Podge. Place your image right on top, smooth it out with your fingers to make sure there's no air bubbles or wrinkles. Let that completely dry and then go back over it with another layer of Mod Podge to seal and protect it. Then I am making a simple bow so all you got to do is just grab the ribbon of your choice create an awareness ribbon out of it scrunch it up in the middle and then i like to hold these together using a zip tie and then using a smaller ribbon i just did the same thing created an awareness ribbon out of it scrunch it up in the middle holding it with a zip tie and go ahead and cut those tails off put both of those bows together and hold it again with a piece of zip tie. Now you could either hot glue the bow onto the sign. I decided just to tie around a pipe cleaner around the bow so that way I could interchange it whenever I want. Go ahead and place your bow on the handle of that faux cutting board. And there you go guys. Now you just created your own decoupage I cannot wait to do more projects like this. I hope this inspires you guys to create your own in your own special way. If it did, please be sure to sprinkle the love. Thank you so, so much. And I hope y'all have a good rest of your day. Thanks. Bye.